Um, but the solution to that, like, here's one, I, and I hear this all the time, the solution to the nation is in God's house, not the White House. And, it, it, like, that's a cliche. Um, and, it, and people say amen to that. And really the truth, that's not even biblical. God's solution to America is the White House. Like God created government in the beginning. So if you go to, and, and we have to, this is the problem. It's all of these require foundational understanding of scripture. So instead of rushing through it, I'm going to give you some foundation. In the book of Genesis, you see God creating man. Then he creates woman. Then he creates marriage. Then they have children, which is the creation of family. Those families did a terrible job of withholding evil in the culture so much so that god destroys the entire earth with a flood after that flood god tells noah hey look i am giving the responsibility of governance beyond the family i'm creating a new institution that institution is government and he tells noah look by if someone kills another person by man, that person needs to be executed. It's the foundation of capital punishment in the institution of government. He's saying mankind as a whole. So someone goes out and commits murder. Now, all of a sudden, we have to, we have, to have an investigative system. So a, a, like we need the sheriff. So he's got to go and investigate what's happening. Then, then he said, well, here's the suspect. Now we need a judicial system. Um, then we need a loss. We need, okay, so you can't kill, but also what leads to, to the flourishing of mankind is no theft. And you've got the Ten Commandments, which are foundational, you know, uh, that, that are fulfilled in loving your neighbor, but hey, don't steal from your neighbor, don't commit adultery, um, don't kill your neighbor, like all of, all of these things on down the line. So now you have a, a judicial system, a legislative body that's creating laws. Hey, don't kill, don't steal. Um, you have all of these things. This is God's creation from the beginning. So God created government. Once you understand this as a creation of God, so God created the family, he created government. And then in the New Testament, we have a new covenant where God creates the church, which is responsible for spiritual stewardship of, of the individual. So you have these three institutions I'm created. So what, what was our, So don't use cliches. So when we say, well, the answer is the, uh, the church house, not the White House. Well, the answer is the church house and the White House. It would be like saying, well, you know, God's solutions to families isn't fathers, it's the <laughs> church. Well, that is a massive problem. And, uh, and so we have come up with these cliches. So, so we don't even, so we're talking about fathers, but government is God's solution. So when, when we look at stuff that's happening in our culture and we're going, oh, it's falling apart. Well, the church is the answer. It's one of God's answers. The family is an answer and government is also an answer to withholding evil. And so God's answer is the White House. And uh, so we, we fall on these cliches and we get led to untruth by these cliches. So we can so we can throw cliches out the window. We don't need them. Well, we need we need Bible truth. And uh, and that to me is the key is it's like, well, For let's sure. see what the Bible says. It's like, well, we need to be balanced with truth and love. Well, what does the Bible say? The book of Ecclesiastes talks about time. Um, you know, does the Bible say the answer is not in the White House? So if you're saying something as truth that the Bible does not say, you need to get you need to be very, very careful. Our For ministry sure. uses the term biblical worldview all the time. I try to be very careful because that is not a term in the Bible. I think biblical worldview is taking the Bible and applying it to what's happening. And that is a scriptural concept. But I'm just saying, right. anytime you use stuff that's not in the Bible, you need to make sure that you can directly <laughs> ground it in scripture. And this is where we get off on all these cliches. 